What's good everybody my YouTube family? This is JC. What I got for you today, I'm going to do a upload speed test with a Samsung T7 external hard drive and uh right, right here, the Western Digital Black 850 M.2 SSD. There's not much videos online or maybe they do to show the upload speed for these two devices. The thing is with these two devices, you can with especially with the Samsung T7 you can download the PlayStation 4 games on it and play. But the difference is you can't do the same thing with a PlayStation 5 game with us with the with the external hard drive. You have to download it on there and then copy it. Which is kind of ridiculous, but that's just the way it is. I think the reason being because the speed of the SSD inside the PlayStation 5 was meant to, to match up with the PS5 games. And the externals, they're not that they're, they're fast, but they're not as fast. Compared to the uh, compared to a uh, uh, internal SSD, like this for the example, so that could be the main reason why the game, the PS5 games, have to be copied onto the PlayStation 5 in order for you to play it. Now, so that's why I'm gonna do this real quick, so you could see the upload speed for not gonna do a PlayStation 5 game, PlayStation 4 games with the Samsung T7 external and the Western Digital Black SN850 M.2 SSD, and if you stay if you stay tuned probably no for my next video i'm going to do the speed test with this right here the sabrent rocket 4.0 all right so i'm going to set it up real quick i'm going to take it from there thanks for tuning back to my channel and uh, what i'm going to show you right now for the western digital black sn850 sn850 i got it inside this amazing heatsink right here so i like the blue color so I'm going to put it in right here to show you that first that it fits inside the PS5. I slide it in and I'm going to get my screws and I'm going to screw it in and then we're going to do a speed test. And um, if you guys are, uh, when you guys are in my channel, there's a whole lot more contents there. So you can also go ahead and uh, watch them and you can also go ahead and subscribe to my channel. I really appreciate it. Leave your likes and leave your comments and I like to read them and I like to respond back to, the, to your comments. So it's very easy to do. You just slide it in right here. And then I'm just gonna screw this bad boy back up. And then I'm gonna fire the PlayStation 5. And then we're gonna do the upload speed test and maybe a gameplay. All right, let's get into it. All right, welcome back. Here's what I got for you. I'm gonna show you what storage I got right now. Okay, let me go into the storage system right here. You can see right here where it says M.2 SSD storage. And in the top corner, you see WDS550. That's the Western Digital Black SN850 internal storage. Just to let you know. And the USB extended storage right there, you see, where it says PSSD T7. That's the Samsung T7 external hard drive. And what I do, I plugged it on um, the, the Samsung T7 come with two cables USB Type C to US, USB Type B to USB Type C, and USB Type C to USB Type C. So what I did, I used the cable, the USB Type-C to USB Type-C and connected it to the front of the PlayStation 5. When I plug it in the front of the PlayStation 5, that area is reserved for fast charging, fast transfer and all of that. So, I want to see if there's a difference. And now, before I do anything, I want to check right here for the network. Because what I do, I connect, I connect um, um, the PlayStation 5 directly to my router. By, by way of ethernet cable. So let's see if we could find something here to show the speed. Connect status, test internet connection, connect status. Let me click right here to see real quick. No, nothing here. No, not that. Test internet connection. Yes, there we go. Let's see how fast my network is. Cause I have Spectrum, one gigabyte service, but you know you're not gonna get real one gig. <laughs> So let's see before we go any further here, what the connected speed is going to be for download and upload. But like I said, I connect directly from my router to my PS5 by way of Ethernet cable. So it's still checking for connected speed for download. And how you guys, what, how you guys liking the, the new software update where you can use your own internal SSD? Let me know what you think in the comments. So, okay, what I'm seeing right here, connecting speed for download is 41 megabytes. That's kind of crappy. 
I need to check that out. I wish I had Google Fiber because I heard the Google Fiber is pretty fast. So I don't know if this is going to affect the read and write speed, which I really don't think it should. But let's see what's going on right here with connection speed for upload 19. What the heck? That'll make no sense. That don't make no sense. But anyway, that's not why we're here anyway. But what I'm going to do real quick, I'm going to, I'm going to move some, I'm going to move a game over from the console to the internal SSD and the, the and the external. So I'm gonna first do with the external and I'm gonna go right here in the console, dip in, dip in here and I'm gonna move over PS4 game. Cause like I said, this is for PS4, all right? Not for PS5. So I'm gonna select Ghost of Tsushima or however you pronounce it name anyway. I'm gonna select, you can select item and move I'm going to go to, we all up here. I'm going to go to move, move about to USB extended storage. I'm going to click move. And then let me get my trusty clock right here. And um, as you see right here, all zeros. I'm going to start the move in three, two, one, go. All right. So, to, so the time is two minutes and twenty, uh, two minutes and eight seconds to move over the game from the console onto the ex to the external storage. So let's go back into the external storage to see if it's in there. So right there, see, go over here. Let me just zoom. Let's give it a little. One. That should be better. Yes. So as you can see right here in USB extended storage, the game and apps. It showed that it's showed that um, 44.3 gigabytes. So that's the game. So let's open it and see what's inside. The game is inside there. So that's a 44 gigabyte game. It takes approximately two minutes and eight seconds to move from the console onto the external storage. Now here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to do another test. I'm going to do from the external onto the the console storage, because you know. The read, the read and write on the on the Samsung T7, I think it was like three megabytes, three thousand megabytes, something like that. So let's see how long it's going to take. To move from the external, on I mean from the external onto the console storage. So I got my clock reset to zero. So I'm going to hit move. So that's going to be in three, two, one, go. So, as we can see right here, the move from the USB to the console, it takes it five minutes and 35 seconds. And there's a correction I want to make. The, the Samsung T7, you got a read and write speed of, of one gigabyte. Or if you want to, if you want to put it, 1000 megabytes, that's a read speed. Read and write speed of the Samsung T7. So it takes it, so it takes the Samsung approximately five minutes and 35 seconds to move over a 44 gigabyte games onto the console storage. So what I'm gonna do next right now, see I set my, set my clock back to, to zero. What I'm gonna do at this moment, I'm gonna move over the same game, the same game onto the, where is it? Where is it again? I'm gonna move over the same game from the console onto the Western Digital Black 8, 850 um, internal storage and that one I believe it have a read speed of up to 6400 um, megabytes yeah I believe that's what it is so I'm going to select move move onto the M.2 SSD storage so what I got to do real quick as you already know I would like to do it get my trusted stop clock on deck and I'm going to start at uh, let me go right here move I select it to move over as you see right here, you move to the M.2 SSD storage. I'm going to hit it at 3, 2, 1, go. So, moving over from the Western Digital Black 850 onto the console, it takes approximately 3 minutes and 12 seconds. Alright, so that's pretty decent all by itself. 
So I think, if I'm not mistaken, with the with with the Samsung T7, which was a one terabyte, I mean one thousand megabytes, both read and write, it took it like approximately I think it's over five minutes or something like that. But anyway, so we can see there's a big difference in terms of um, transfer from uh, console to storage with the external and the and the um the internal. There we go, go to Tsushima. I'm tripping y'all. All right, let's get to it. All jokes aside. So, reset back to zero. And um, this is the PlayStation 4 version. As I go, as I go right here and show you, I'm slide over here. Let me zoom in. That's one thing I like about the new PlayStation software update. It, go, it also um, tell you which version you have. If it's the PlayStation 5 version or the PlayStation 4 version. So, we're gonna do the upload test on this one. And I'll show you again, my clock is back at zero. So we're gonna start at three, two, one, go. Hiya. I'm gonna stop it right there. So right there, I stop it right there, Ashishima, Japan. And it took it, it takes approximately, let me get, get my code here. It takes it approximately 52 seconds. That's where I stop it at. Um the, the, the sign that says Tsushima Japan. It took it approximately it, oh, it took it approximately 52 seconds to upload from the M.2 SSD onto the to the, whatever you want to call it, yeah. I'm getting tongue tied today. So from the from the internal SSD, it takes it approximately 52 seconds to upload to that um, screen, which is Tsushima Japan. Now what I'm gonna do right now, I'm gonna do the same thing, but with the external. So let me go back out here. I'm gonna do my move thing. Where do, where do we go again? Oops. Oh. Dang, I messed up. I messed up. I messed up, y'all. I messed up. Let me show you real quick. Show you where I messed up. Ah, oh, I thought I had it on the. I thought I had it on the, the M.2, but actually, actually that was from the console. So I'm gonna move it from the console. I'm gonna move it from the console to the external. I mean the internal SSD. So we're gonna close it first. Yeah. Boom. So let's start it off right this time. Gotta do some adjustment to the camera. Yeah, let me go back out a little bit. Okay, there we go. There we go. So now let's do the real speed test. Um so she go to Shishima, PlayStation 4 version on the Western Digital Black SN SN850. I'm right here, clock is at zero. We'll start, start it back at three, two, one, go. Hi, y'all. Okay, right there. I'm gonna stop right there. 
So, back at the Gosa Tsushima sign, um, the part where it says Gosa Tsushima, it takes it approximately 51 seconds. And I think with the console, it was 52 seconds. So, one second difference between the console and the internal storage. Um, that's not bad at all. It, so, they're basically on par. Now, what I'm going to do right now, I'm going to do the real one. With the, I'm going to do the upload with the external, the Samsung. So let me move it over. Let me move it over onto the external right here. So I gotta close it first. Yes, you gotta close it. Yes, move it onto the you move it onto the USB extended storage. Yeah. So now we're gonna do the speed test with the it goes to Tsushima on the place on the Samsung T7 external. So let me go to the show real quick. That's um the that's a PSSD T7. That's a Samsung T7, and um the games. You can see the PlayStation 4 Ghost of Tsushima is in there. Let's go back out here real quick. Let's go fire up this game. And remember, it's an upload. This game is going to be uploading from the Samsung T7 um, external hard drive. All right, and the read and write speed on this thing is of thousand uh, thousand megabytes, which is like a one gig. All right, anyway. Let's get this thing going. My trusty clock on zero, and a six, oh, ugh. a three, two, one, go. Okay. All right, so let me get out of here. I'll stop it at the, I'll stop it at the regular place and come back out here. So let's double check this thing real quick. So make sure my mind ain't playing tricks on me. Okay, like I said, storage, the um, the Ghost of Tsushima game is on the extended um, storage. And I stopped it at my regular, at the regular spot. It did it in 52 seconds. Well, I don't know what to take of that, so you guys can um, take it the way, take it whatever you want. But for me, that's kind of weird, <laughs> you know. But um, like I said, the benefits of having a benefits of having the M.2 SSD, you free up more space on your console, which is good. The only difference is you just cannot take it to your homeboy P homeboy crib, put it in the PS5, and and play. You may go do that, but it's going to be too much hassle. But with the ex with the external, you can just put put it on your put the game on the external PS4 games. Take it to your homeboy, plug and play. So that's the purpose. And um, the upload speed is kind of weird because I expect it to be way way slower than that. Maybe for games that's different, but for transferring transferring from console to to external or vice versa. I get it varies so that's all I got for you right now so if you find this video pretty pretty entertaining or you find it very um, informative for you go ahead and drop a subscribe don't forget to drop a like because it helps with the algorithm and don't forget leave a comment let me know what you think let me know what you want me to review next or what what I could have done to make things a little bit more different all right I appreciate your time and I hope I can see you in the next one Godspeed